Hey guys, I'm going to start a shop my stash for skincare and also well self-care actually. So this is the part of my bathroom that I allocate for skincare, body care, hair care basically. Anything that is care but without makeup in it. So I'm going to pull all this out while I continue chatting with you guys. I'm pulling them out and also trying to put them into categories. So this one is perfume and then this will all be my hair stuff at the back. There's actually stuff inside here too. So in November, at the end of November, I got very confused with my skincare routine. I felt that uh, I was trying a lot of things. The whole point of me trying so many things is because I want to do reviews for you guys, but I wasn't actually documenting them. I was just using them on my own and only actually talking about them when I'm done with it and it's inside my empties and so on. It's just like, you know, what's the point? I don't know, I just started asking myself what's the point of everything I guess. Maybe I'm overwhelmed, maybe because I was doing giveaways, I was taking out stuff to give away to other people and I was thinking that I still have so many things that I would like to try. I've given away everything that I could give away but there was still so many brands and products here that I want to try for myself instead of giving it away. So that brings me to today. Now it's already sometime in December and I've already started like a little schedule or system. I've been doing it since the end of November and I think it kind of works. I'm kind of used to it right now which is why I want to start this shop my stash. I'm going to be also organizing the shelves as I go along with you guys. So first up, let's just talk about what I picked for my first ever shop my stash for skincare. So my rule is to use each like a uh, specific product like specific moisturizer for minimum of five days up to like seven days so five days to one week is how long i'll test out one product so the first thing that i pick is this one from philoga this is the ncef essence it's like a lotion and it's supposed to be multi-correction supposed to do a lot of things so you just drip it on and this is how it looks like what i do is i usually just do a couple drops in on my palms and then i will just like pia, 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 pia on my face very good kind of description you can see it's very lightweight i enjoy this a lot it has a strong fragrance and i've already used a good amount of this i think it's moisturizing enough and it also does help my acne skin it looks nicer the next day trying to prevent more zits from coming up i'll write inside my phone's calendar filoga mn so it means morning night so mn1 mn2 and because i'm filming on my phone right now so i cannot tell you specifically which day i use these things so I think it was on the second day and I went in with a mask and it is this over here from Derma E, the Vitamin C Instant Radiant Citrus Facial Peel. I'm gonna show you, I really don't have much left because this is hands down one of my favorite masks ever. After I use this, I instantly see an effect. The next day my skin is just so good but the thing is that they only allow you to use this once a week which I get it because it can be a little bit harsh. That is all that I have left. Really don't have much left and it works very well for me. So of course, as I was using this, I was also using this as like a moisturizer because this is just a wash off thing. And then I think it was the third or fourth day, I wanted another mask, but I cannot use that again. So I went in with this one. And this is the Philoga Oxygen Glow Mask. It's just like a tiny sample that came with the big meso mask. Or was it something that came with this guy? Cannot remember. This one is very good too. Very moisturizing, but honestly, no mask compares to this one. Uh, but I feel that my skin just looked nicer and less acne and just more hydrated. And then I was going to run out of my Good Molecules cleanser. So I picked cleansers from my collection of new stuff. Everything that I'm showing you here is all opened. This is from Oskia. It's the Renaissance Cleansing Gel. I know I have one of these tubes inside Malaysia. And from my memory, I remember that it was like a little bit too oily. So I'm going to show you how it looks like. It's not going to be a cleanser for me anymore. It's kind of pink in color and then it's supposed to put it on your dry face and it will transform into a milk. No, it's supposed to melt into an oil. I didn't really see that that much. However, I will use this when my face feels very dirty before I go into the bath and use like a normal cleanser. So this Philoga product is considered good enough, good enough in the sense that I will want to use again, spend my time on it and also like actually use my own cash to repurchase this. So this is actually the third shelf and it's going to house all the moisturizers that I would like to use again. Moving down to the second shelf, which is just face mask, wash off mask, stuff that I will still be using no matter what moisturizer I'm testing out that time. 
Now we're going to shop my stash number two. So I gave that Philoga definitely more than five days and I thought, ooh, let's use some Pyongkang Yu product. I have three over here. There's one more at the back. And this is my favorite, which is the Serum Moisture Serum. So let me just show you. This like dropper thing is not that great, <laughs> but it still picks up a decent amount. So I just want to show you the consistency and before using this, I absolutely love it because it's so lightweight, moisturizes very well though. So on the first day, I used this serum and I was very motivated. So I also used the Oskia, like a wash off kind of mask and I also used the Derma E mask. So obviously one in the daytime, one in the nighttime. That's how the serum looks like. And then in the next few days, I got even more motivated. So on top of all those masks, I also used my Philoga Meso mask. This one you can leave it on for 15 to 30 minutes so i only use it when i'm mentally prepared because i like to use it for like 30 minutes so that's the amount that i've used i've used a decent amount i actually think that i use this like twice in a row maybe on the second or fourth day coupled with this one so after really just like spending time with this product and only this product without missing any other from uh, any other moisturizers i realized that I don't like it that much it is good but after that the, for the next rotation i rolled in the pyongkang yu cream and i think that one is actually better so before we go on to that i also decided that well the oscar was a bust you can see this is wet so i also picked out something from my new drawer which is the ac well acne cleansing acne clearing deep cleansing foam we're gonna stop here there's a lot more words that you can also read and you only need a tiny bit of this this bottle is gonna last forever a tiny bit of this and your face is cleansed because it just like foams up very well and it washes off very easily i highly enjoy this that cleanser is good but it will leave skin a bit like squeaky clean so you definitely will want to moisturize after that so this will go to the mask drawer and then this one over here I really enjoy the consistency of how fast it sinks in so I'm going to put it here to like use again and that is actually lipstick swatches that did not come off. Now we have shot my stash 3. I moved on to this one which is the last in the Pyongkang Yu because that one is a toner so it's not like a moisturizer. This one is a nutrition cream which in my review I said before that I much prefer the serum. Now that I really like only use one product per week. I realized this is actually a lot better. You only need a little bit because it is very heavy, but it is very moisturizing and my skin maybe like prefers higher moisturizing content because it just looks way better the next day. I thought it would be too heavy for me, but well, my skin likes it. <laughs> even in the daytime, even under makeup, I also use this. So when I say like minimum five days, I mean uh, five days equals to like morning and night. So I'm using it minimum 10 times. I didn't add any new masks, but I added two. So yeah, I got this one, which is from Rifa, and that is actually the eye cream. So it comes in this very nice velvety bag, and it is this Rifa 2. This is the Rifa Carrot Ray S. I highly enjoy that I got an S. There's another one, which is just like the normal one without the alphabet S. It's a lot bigger. This is targeted for eyes, and I've been using it everywhere on my face. And then when I do remember, well, I do get lazy. I actually go in with an eye cream and this one is from Rifa. Everything is in Japanese. Sometimes I use this, but honestly, with all my moisturizers, they're all so good that I don't need a specific eye cream. And then I also started to incorporate more stuff. Oh, okay, so I started to become more religious in using, religiously using this one. I had this open for months before the virus even started in Singapore. So almost like a year. And then it's almost all empty, but I still can use it's, there's still like enough product. I have to dip in every time I go in with my top and bottom lashes. So this one is from Shiseido. Let's see, do we have the name? Oh, I haven't rubbed off. It's the Full Lash Serum. I've been using this, waiting for it to run out. Also been using this, which I call my nose capper. Because I'm Asian, I'm, I have a fat nose. I use this to cap my nose for like 30 seconds. When I do remember. So I don't actually write it down in my calendar. And then on the second last day of this, I actually used this for like six days straight because I enjoy it so much. And also I was busy, <laughs> too busy to switch out a new moisturizer. And I added this in on the second last day. This is from Labotech. It's the AC Tylo Intensive Care Patch. Let me show you. I think I used like two. Yeah, I used two pieces of this to cover my zits. <laughs> Probably because next day I had some event to go to. So my verdict is... 
this third shot my stash was very satisfying because this is a very very good moisturizer i recommend you to get this over the serum so definitely this is going to go in here and it will just sit there and also the Rifa eye cream which doesn't stand let's just hope it stays like that it's going to go in there because i also started testing out a new eye cream no mask but let's just go to this one which is going to be my current shop my stash for skincare drawer going to be putting this one because this is kind of like a when you need it then you use it kind of thing hmm. okay so i'm gonna actually put it on top at the mask area and then i would like to use my nose capper more often and also my Rifa too and I would like to use this every single day, no matter what. Shop my stash for, which means present day. Present day, we are on this product day two. Day two was yesterday. <laughs> this one is day three. But let's just talk about day one and day two first. Okay, so I picked this one because it is close to expiry, which is honestly the truth. But yet it was brand new inside my drawer. And I've been wanting to try this from La Roche Posay. I don't know how to pronounce this. Tolerian Ultra Light. I think you kind of see like a tiny little bit of gap. I think the product like shoots up from the top. So how you use is you turn this and then you just press and it comes out but never ever comes out properly. I think it's like an expensive kind of mechanism but I don't think it's such a good squeezing mechanism that it has because it kind of like um, goes back to the lock position when I'm trying to squeeze it. So the product packaging is not the best but you can see it spreads very far. It's very lightweight and looking at myself in the mirror as I'm talking to you right now. So this one I use for two days, which means four times. My face likes this. Even though it is close to expiry, I'm not breaking out. It is preventing new zits from forming and that's the most important to me. I just don't see an increase in zits. So this one I will continue using and I'll update you. On the first day that I incorporate this, I decided my face just felt dirty. I wanted to do a scrub. This is from Mine 10 and it's a coffee scrub. I still have this amount left, which is quite a lot. Uh, this one, it's very salty, very um, olive oil. Okay, there's oil inside. I don't know if it's olive oil. <laughs> That's just whatever felt like to me. It can be a little bit painful. What I do is I wet my face and then I wet the little section on, that I think and then I would just like try to coat my face with it. <laughs> And then when I go into the shower, that is when I wash it off with water. I wet my hands and I try to wash it off as gently as I can. And then my face just feels very, very smooth, very, very soft. But it isn't the most gentle kind of formula. But I'll say is if you get this one, try it. But definitely don't go out of your way to buy it. And then yesterday, which is day two of this moisturizer, I decided to mm, feel like pulling out my face. So I picked out from my skincare drawer, my sheet mask drawer, I picked out this Labotech The Art Patch. So you can see there's still one more inside because each like little ziplock comes with two. I used one last night. This always works well for me. I've talked about this so much. I've given, I've given this away too. So you know, I love this. Just that it is one time use and the price. Other than that, whatever you want it to do, it does it perfectly. I think that this kind of shot my stash is going to be very good for me to remember what I want to tell you because I tested it like just a couple days ago so it's very fresh in my mind. I don't know if this is weird because I've never seen anyone on YouTube do a shot my stash for skincare so if you do enjoy it, definitely tell me. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this is a good way to review or not. So this is my current use drawer. Skincare aside, I also want to focus on self-care which means taking care of my hair and body too. So for hair, I've been using this product for the past more than one month from Go Well. It's the Rich Repair 6 Effects Serum. I think it's really good but <laughs> I think I need to put this away for a while. So I'm going to send this all the way up to the fourth shelf. These are all of my hair stuff over here. I have like clips inside and some perfume things. I'm going to pick this one for my hair, like after I shower, when my hair is just damp, I will put this on. This one is from FAB. What does that stand for? First Aid Beauty <laughs> Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. I did not like it, so I downgraded it to my hair. So this I'll send up to the fourth shelf, whereas for this one, which is something that I want to reach for, I will put this inside here. So this one is going to the fourth shelf, so is this one because they're just hair bands. And then this one over here was something that I've been using before I used that Go Well Rich Repair. I actually was using this for more than a month. This is from KMS, it's the Add Volume Leave-In Conditioner. So I'm going to send this up Ooh, to the fourth shelf. Now let's look at scents. Uh, I have this roller ball here and it's from Nina Times Puka. 
Mm, it's for focus and honestly, I think I'm just gonna push that up to the fourth. I have been using this pink one from A Normal and it's just called the Normal Perfume. This one is the pink white mask. So instead of that, this thing doesn't work anymore. So I cannot get this scent out anymore. But this one still works, so I'm going to be using this one this time around. So for perfume, I think of it as just like self-care. It makes me happy, so yeah. This is just the beige laundry scent. I'm gonna be putting it into this shelf over here. I did this short my stash for my makeup and it made me feel mentally better. Like my mind just clearer because I was just less bogged down with what to use, what to use, all those kind of basic decisions that you have to make every day. Wow, that was not in focus at all the entire time. <laughs> That is why I'm going to be doing this for my skincare. And I just took this out from the fridge. I think I'm just going to leave it inside here. I never remember because it's inside the fridge. But I've been testing it out. Some days I do forget. This one is from Philoga. It's the Optim Eyes. So it's like an eye contour cream. I'm going to leave it here and continue testing it out. There is a lot of things that I forgot even existed because they were just stuffed behind. So I'm glad I'm doing this with you guys. I have two toners. This one is from Pyong Kang Yu. This one is a moisturizing kind, so it's the Essence Toner. I just call it like a moisture toner. I'm gonna put it there because when I need it, it's there. And then this one is a different kind of toner. It's the Niacinamide Brightening Toner from Good Molecules. Let's see, I still have... Oh, less than half left. Yay! This one I definitely use way more than the Pyongkang Yu. I'm gonna put this here too. This is what I'm left with. For my body moisturizer, I have some stuff that I downgraded, which is this one. This is before I even started this shot my stash, I was testing this from Good Molecules. Let's get you some like This is the Discoloration Correcting Serum. I love it. I freaking loved it. But then I think my skin changed or it has been a while since I use it. So it just doesn't work as well anymore. Before that, when I was using this, my skin looks so clear. So because I love it, I'm going to use it as body care. It works very well for me as body care. I just put it behind like this. And then let's go on to the third shelf. I have well, a space here, so I'm just going to put this here, which is the Daiso Cotton Puffs. And they're just things that, you know, I use them when I remove my makeup and my simple wipes. So that's how it looks like. And then ugh, let's go up here. I have this one that I also tested out with the Good Molecules before I even started all these things. This is the Atto Palm Soothing Gel Lotion. It worked perfectly for me too. And then my skin just changed. It just stopped working that well. Okay, I squeezed it like that. So that one, I will also use it for body care the next time. I have these two products down here that I've totally forgot that I have. So I shouldn't have opened this actually. I should have tested this out. And I will do that <laughs> soon. Okay, once I roll that one out, I will roll one of these in. This one is Estee Lauder and that one is Makeup OMG. So I'm just going to slot them behind. I have this one last thing which is from Base of Sweden and it's just an oil makeup remover. So it just makes sense to put it beside the cotton puffs. This is how it looks like now and hopefully you found all those short reviews helpful. Maybe it might be fun to do a short mustache for skincare too. If you are already doing a short mustache for makeup. So we will be focusing on this shelf over here and I will be updating you in the next video in this series before we switch out the skincare routine to continue testing. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!